Hi guys, Rene here and welcome to the workshop. I get a lot of questions regarding saddles that I use. So today I decided to go a little bit into detail with that one. So previously I've been using the Burke Dilla a lot. Uh, first, it's 160mm variant. That felt very good. It's super, a super wide saddle, wide nose. It was uh, fitting me well, so I was using that for a while. But uh, I'm a bike dealer and it happens sometimes that the things that are on my bikes are part of the inventory so sometimes a uh, customer needs something and sometimes it happens that uh, it's the only thing only part that I have uh, available is the one that's in my bike usually it's in perfect condition so they agree for that if they're in a pinch so that happened to my 160 mil saddle the 140 mil uh, bag deal was then released uh, and I was using that and since I'm a smaller rider I was happier with it than with the 160 so I kept using that but same thing happened uh, so then the saddle I had lying around was the S-Vox Power in the 143 mil and it's a very famous very popular saddle perfect for my aggressive position I decided to give it a go but I was super happy with it uh, to be honest even happier than with the Burke because uh, it has almost no padding even the one that is on is very firm the shell is very firm uh, it's very short it fit fit my ass perfectly i was very happy with it then the same thing happened uh, actually then with the burks and then i saw the newer version of the power the so-called power arc uh, this is on a specialized website and what are the differences between the SVX Power and the SVX Power Arc? Well, the Arc uh, portion of the name suggests that the top of the saddle and the whole shape, uh, the whole base, is curved downwards, like in traditional older star saddles. So that's one thing. Uh, then, as you can see, the shell on the back is a little different. Uh, and these would be nice features for me, or at least I thought so. Uh, so I ordered it, gave it a go. Uh, in the first couple of rides it was fine, but uh, but then I became quite unhappy with it. And part of the reason for that uh, is the padding. Now, specialized lists that both should have level 2 padding, but whereas... Uh, on the regular power it's quite minimal it's only around four or five millimeters uh, on this one I would say it's more like 10 to 12 millimeters of padding and it's it's really quite soft and that became a problem for me I've also tried the Sikon Elan saddle with carbon rails also very nice shape uh, everything fit perfectly but for me the padding a lot of it just just kills it because I get an awful amount of chafing after a couple of rides so so that's exactly what happened here uh, which is a shame because it's a really nice saddle also because of the curvature uh, it says it's the same width as the regular power but since this width is curved down it's actually looks at least quite a bit narrower anyway uh, the padding is not good uh, for my butt if you have padding it's already in your shorts so i don't really understand why my brands keep doing this because it just doesn't help uh, quite the contrary in fact so anyway back to my power saddle which i really like and i think i'm going to stick with it long term and then you'll see how it goes so i hope uh, this clears up the situation with my saddles if you had any questions if you want to know more about the equipment that I use on my bikes, then don't forget to tune into the channel later on and subscribe. It's all for today. Thanks for watching and see you next time.